Hey guys, my name's Gaming Because, and welcome to a new game. Now, this is called Hearthstone. I won't be playing this for a long time on my channel. I just kind of wanted to show you guys the basics. Now, currently, I, I've gotten into this game quite a bit, and I mean, I'm really happy with where I am in the game. Currently, um, I am chilling at around uh, rank 20. Now, I know that's terrible. I have three wins. Wow, whoop de doo But look. I'm starting to get into this game again. I played it about a year and a half ago, and currently I don't have a video for Monday, so I'm going to be recording this. Um, if you guys have any ideas of what I can post on Mondays, go ahead and throw it out there. I'll be glad to receive the answers. But pretty much I'm going to be showing you the basics of Hearthstone, how to play it, you know. Uh, I did see a video earlier that kind of inspired me to do this, so first of all, I'm going to go ahead and go into my collections. If you guys don't know what Hearthstone is, it's a card game. Now, don't click off yet, please. Hearthstone is, uh, it's pretty fun, even though it's a card game. Uh, there's like a cool effects. Uh, currently, usually I use my paladin, my paladin deck. Which is just formed of all of these guys right here. If you guys want to copy my deck, go for it. It's a very basic deck. I don't think you will need to buy or use any dust to do this. Um, it's pr fairly cheap and easy to use. Um, now, I don't really have enough to actually craft cards. I've got around uh, 190 dust. Now, I'm trying to get a deck, um, but I'm going to need quite a lot more dust to do so, or open packs that actually help me. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and play a quick game in casual, because I don't want to lose my rank 20 rank, because I get a back of, uh, the back of the deck card, the back of the card, I get, I get to change that if I re he reach rank 20 before the end of the month. That's the only reason really why I went to, uh, this rank, so, uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. All right, and here we are. We are facing Valera. My name is Uther. Uh, I actually was playing earlier today, and I did very well. Uh, I won a game that was about... I was, um... I had 8 health, and I ended up defeating the person that was a very... Uh, very beginning kind of playing deck. Like, they only had low mana cro costing uh, minions. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my opponent my opponent to stop there we go come on I can English today come on um, and I'm gonna teach you really the basics of Hearthstone or why I'm doing what move really now they're probably not gonna be the best moves I'm more of an offensive player so this is why I play the way I do um, I'm just telling you guys that right away because there are some times when I won't make very good moves and I apologize for that like I'm gonna coin right now because I don't have any one minions in my hand and I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, this in here, my Murloc. Uh, just because my Murloc gives me two minions on the board instead of just one. If I didn't have my uh, Murloc with me, this is Murloc, uh, I would have been playing uh, River Croc... I can't even say his name. I, I would have been playing the Crocodile down there. Uh, so pretty much now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play the Crocodile now that I have two mana. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, pretty much I, I my play style has always been board control. So, I can't really kill that minion right now, so I'm going to attack face, because I don't want to waste my minion just not for nothing. Because uh, I can kill that uh, dinosaur next turn with uh, my crocodile. But my playstyle has always been more of a board control than go after face. And face is uh, just your player face right here. Uh, so that's what that term means, really. It's just you go after the minions, which are these guys, and then you go after the face. And those are just text options that come up when uh, you're kind of checking out your cards, looking at it, and uh, taking a little longer to do play your turn. So right there was a very good move for him, because now he killed one of my minions, obviously, and he's going to have to attack my face. Because if he attacks my character, that's a waste of his card. Um, now... If he does attack my character, then, or my, my, uh, minion, uh, I don't think that would have been a smart decision. And the decision he just made was very smart. Uh, he can't seem to play another card, though, because he doesn't have any mana left. Uh, I am playing against lower-ranked people. Like, it's not low rank, but, I mean, it's lower. Um, so, I'm not sure how well these people are going to do. Um, now, the thing, the decision I'm going to try and make right now is, do I attack face, or do I attack his minion? Currently, he has to do the work to kill my minion, so I'm going to attack his face and end my turn. He 
since I have more damage on the board, he has to try and figure out what to do to take out my minion. Uh, now next turn I'm going to be playing my uh, Chill Chillwind Yeti because uh, it's just a 4 mana card and I actually like that card quite a bit because uh, they're harder to kill. See, now that's a good, another good move because it gets sort of damage in play. And another thing he's probably going to do is attack my minion this time uh, if he's smart so he, I don't have, like, because he doesn't know what cards I have. So he, he doesn't know what I could do. And he still has four of his mana left, which his mana is shown right there. Uh, and he's going to deal one damage and draw a card. Interesting. Uh, and he's probably going to play a, another card like that, destroy my weapon, which I don't have one. This is a weapon, by the way. Uh, the darker cards. I'm going to go ahead and still play my uh, Chilly Wood Elf. Or Chilly Wood, what? Chill, chill Wind Yeti. There we go. And uh, hopefully he uh, does interesting stuff because... Um, I'm not sure how he's going to play this. Uh, next turn, actually, I'm going to buff my minion. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff it if he does not kill it with this, Blessing of the Kings. It gives a uh, plus four, plus four to my minion. Uh, which, ooh, that hurt. Okay. Uh, so I'm not sure what he's going to do, to be honest. He's playing another taunt. Um, this is actually getting kind of interesting now since he can't kill my minion now, which I'm grateful for. Uh, deal two damage splitting among all minions. I could, uh, all enemies, I mean. Now, I could do that, but I'm, I'm go just going to stick with this play right here. Uh, because I think this is the, the most logical play to do. Now, he's going to kill this guy next turn, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, I wish I had another card, to, like a taunt, to get in my way. Now, that uh, guy with the shield was a taunt that I just killed, that grizzly bear. Uh, he was a taunt, and that means I had to attack him before I could attack anything else. I would have attacked, actually, his face if that card was not there. But, uh, sadly, it was. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do right now, to be honest. I don't know why he used that sword attack. Uh, he might have a card to kill my yeti, so he can attack face. But I'm not too sure. No, that was actually right there. What you just saw was a waste of a card, uh, which kind of sucks on his part. Um, yeah, I don't know why he played that card. Uh, it, as you can see, he used this one right here, which did not kill my Yeti. And he still had to attack uh, with, um, where was it, with that minion right there. So uh, I, I don't understand why he, he did that. He did that combo on me. Uh, now we're getting into the late game. Pretty much after 5 is late game. Or it's what I like to call late game. After uh, I receive 5 mana, really. That is the late game for me. And usually I do better in late game. Uh, usually I would have liked to have done more damage by this point. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to fare in this. Uh, we're going to see, though. We are definitely going to see. Now, uh, next turn, I will be healing with uh, this guy right here. It's res his uh, his bonus really for playing him is it, it restores six health to my hero. So uh, currently, I'm actually uh, going in between dealing three damage and ooh, this is actually another really good card I'll be playing soon. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use that guy right there. It's gonna heal six hearts right there, and uh, now he's the one losing currently. Uh, like I said, I my deck is really built better for late game kind of uh, play than early game because I don't I don't think I have very many one cards, uh, one mana cards that is, so I'm not too sure how he's gonna do this, but uh, hopefully ooh I deal one damage I mean it's a fairly good card I assume uh, he's going for face which uh, to be honest uh, return all ooh that was a good card. Uh, that was a very good card, but sadly, not good enough. Because <laughs> he can't really do much uh, now. And I'm going to go ahead and play my healer again. Uh, which, I'm not really sure how he's going to like that. Uh, he probably won't like that at all, to be honest. Um, or actually, I'm going to go ahead and play my six and then pull a minion out. Uh, and then I'm going to play my uh, healer again next turn. <laughs> So I'm not too sure why he did that, since um, he could have gotten the upper hand on me, but he didn't. I'm um, just playing these minions again. Maybe he was trying to prolong the game a little bit to get a card that he wants. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing, but uh, you never know. You never know what people do. 
Um, next turn, I will be... Ooh, look at that card. Now, I still do have this minion right here, which I'm about to use, actually. Because, uh, from what you guys can see, it's gonna kill a lot of his guys. Uh, a lot of his, uh, characters. So, pretty much, uh, I'm switching up combo already, um, just based off what he's played. I'm gonna go ahead and deal two damage to all of his minions, and himself. Uh, get rid of him. Um, we are going to see if I can deal any more damage to just kill that minion, really. Uh, which I can do. Um, or should I do? That is the question. I mean, I don't really want him to continue drawing cards, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Uh, now, that might have been a bad move. That might have been a misplay to, uh, some of the more veteran, uh, Hearthstone players. But, from what I saw, that was the best course of action for me. Um, hmm. So, now he's got three cards. I've got quite a few more cards than he has, which, it's always better in Hearthstone to have more cards than your opponent. Because you never know what your opponent's going to play. Now, you could top deck something, uh, which I think he just did. He top decked that guy that restored three mana to him. Uh, and give your weapon plus two. So, he could kill me right now, but he's gonna go for face, which I think is a poor decision right now. Um, which, well actually, that wasn't too much of a poor decision, because he's at a health loss right now, and uh, he can't really help too much. So, pretty much what I'm thinking of right now is how do I, which minion do I play? Uh, so I think I'm either gonna play the Stormwind, or the Guardian of Kings. Now, uh, it all really depends. I think I'm going to go with uh, this guy just to heal myself a little bit. Uh, and also I'm going to go with uh, some of my boar. Uh, just because uh, I, I like having more cards. Now currently he has zero cards. And uh, if he top decks something, which is drawing a good card from the top of the deck. And uh, just like totally obliterates me. Then I'm at a loss. But uh, right now I'm not at a loss. Because... Currently, I am uh, in lethal. Lethal is where uh, I can kill him with the certain amount of uh, moves that I have left. Uh, even if he kills that guy, I am still within lethal. He has 6 health, and I've got around 10 damage on the board right now that can t easily kill him. So he's probably going to concede right now. Because uh, normal Hearthstone players really concede after they're done with their moves and they know they've lost. Uh, this guy doesn't seem like he's going to concede though, so uh, I'm going to be able to kill him right here. Uh, there you go, and I have just won the game. Now, as you saw, my deck's built for late game. Uh, you guys can copy this Paladin deck if you would like. Uh, I played the Paladin, by the way. Uh, there are other decks I can play, like Druid, Mage, you really just pick your preference. Uh, I like the Paladin quite a bit, and uh, usually when you win three games, you get a bonus of plus 10 coins. When you get to 100 coins, you can uh, go ahead and buy a pack. Now, I currently don't have a pack or enough money to get a pack, but uh, you can go ahead and buy your shot or packs here. Uh, usually, uh, there are classic cards. Uh, I, I'm normally buy from this one, because this is a kind of newer one. And I, I like it quite a bit. Now this one, uh, I don't like at all. It has really bad cards in it. Uh, but normally, uh, for beginners, I would pick from the classic deck, uh, and then go from Whispers of the Old God. Or the Old Gods. But anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much my Hearthstone video. I really hope you like it. Uh, if you guys want to pick up the game, just Google Hearthstone. Uh, in the title, really, just copy and paste. And you can download it fairly easily. It's completely free to play. Uh, now, you can obviously buy certain things like packs or characters, but it really does not affect the game at all. It just kind of boosts you further into the rankings more fast or faster. But anyway, guys, this was this has been Hearthstone. My name is Gaming Because, and I will see you guys later. Peace.